Every week he's, well, he's been both encouraging and annoying. A dedicated bunch of would-be Lego masters as they quest for ultimate glory. And as we come to the pointy end of the competition, it is all guns blazing for Hamish Blake as he ups the ante for his contestant challenges, all the while facing some of his own challenges at home. And he joins us now from Melbourne. Good morning. Good morning, guys. How's it going? I want to talk firstly about these... Um, challenges that you're facing at home. What's going on there yeah, with I your don't, son? I don't know. I mean, I, I don't write the intros. What, <laughs> no. what's the, what's, what, what are the challenges I'm facing at home? This Some sort of birthday cake we're hearing. Oh, right. Sorry. Um, that's someone else's words. Uh, challenge maybe to other people, but no, every year I tell my son that I will make his birthday cake and he can request whatever he likes. And this year he requested the Cave of Wonders from Aladdin. Um, and not a, not, a, not a challenge, just something that took me seven or eight hours and um, quite a few drinks over on, uh, on Saturday night to get completed. Um, Ham, I don't want to get blamed for Ali's awful questions and intros uh, because I don't have anything to do with them. Because um, I do all the work. So yeah, well, and, and obviously not doing it right. Do um, Ham, I want to say congratulations on the great series. Um, you're the best presenter in this country by a long way. Um, and I think you're holding up beautifully at home. Oh, thank you so much. But I, I mean, I know, I'm not supposed to throw Al under the bus there, but for a second I was like, oh, man, maybe you've been talking to Zoe and I do have some challenges that I'm, that I'm not aware of. Um, I mean, Ali's, Ali's been in this house. She, we were on 60 Minutes with Al and I was like, maybe maybe Zoe passed her a note or something going, please, next time, if Hamish is on the Today Show, read out this list of challenges he has at home. OK. I, 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 I was I going I to, I was but we've only got five minutes. Is Zoe there? <laughs> 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 could get very interesting. <laughs> hey, um, how are you going? I mean, you, I mean, the series is unbelievable. I mean, mm. the levels it goes to every week is absolutely incredible. I mean, mm. I, I, it's beyond. Yeah, I mean, it really is. And look, that's that's all really thanks to the incredible people that we've got on the show building the Lego and also Brickman as well. Just, I mean. You mentioned before, Carl, that I'm kind of just walking around annoying people, and I guess I am a bit because I didn't mean like, to say that. Every, well, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's a pretty accurate representation of what I do. Everybody is so incredibly talented on the show; like they, they, you know, it, it, their imaginations just explode every time you give them a challenge, and then the, the episode just takes off every every time we do something. And tonight's episode is no different. Tonight, it's the underwater build, and so after a few moments tonight when we explain to people that they're going to be building Lego that's going to be sunk down into tanks, everyone's brain sort of explodes for a little bit and tries to get their head around it, and then it's uh, it's phenomenal what people build tonight. Now, is Zoe there? Um... Mm. <laughs> I'm looking... <laughs> Do you know what? I mean, what's... is the Today program still G-rated? Because she's in the shower. So, I don't know how... Let's do it. I don't know how... <laughs> Why don't we leave Zoe alone? But did you do something lovely for her yesterday? Uh, well, we actually did Mother's Day on um, we did Mother's Day Saturday because yes, it was my son's birthday as well as Mother's Day. So every seven years they like line up. Mm. So just to not have to steal the thunder away from a six year old, we Mother's Dayed on Saturday. So do you know what? I, I I almost committed the cardinal sin, which was buying your wife an appliance or a saucepan. Yeah. And I and I I bought the you know the mini Dutch pancakes thing, oh, the profiter yeah. profiteras. So oh, I yeah. bought that was her Mother's Day present with some flowers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I I made the pancakes, so at least it wasn't like, hey, honey, I thought you could maybe give this a go. <laughs> I, 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 I made. Uh, you I should, made the you should try bread makers. bread makers. Bread makers always seem to, mm. you know. You know what? Buy an appliance once for Mother's Day, and I promise you, you'll only do it once. What about an iron? It was it was a pan for me. It was a pan for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, look, there's at a time too. Um, I, I mean, you, I've been loving your Instagram, the Zoom stuff, and all that. There's never been a more important time to help people at home. Um, and there's a lot of entertainers at the moment who are doing it tough. Um, we've, we've seen Kate Sobrano on the show last week. I mm. love that interview. Um, there's a lot of stand-up comics. I mean, the industry is really struggling at the moment, isn't it? Oh, I mean, absolutely. I mean, anybody that relies on a live crowd, and you know, musicians more than ever, I suppose these days. That's the way the industry is, but certainly in the comedy world, um, you know, it, the Melbourne Comedy Festival getting cancelled, every comedy festival getting cancelled. That's a huge. That is a huge blow for um, for all the comedians that that rely on real life human beings yeah. being there, paying money and laughing. It's brutal.
We often, uh, you know, ask people how they're handling lockdown. I'm not going to ask you that. I want to know how your family's handling you in lockdown. Zoe. Zoe, yeah, exactly. Basically. <laughs> yeah. Zoe, Zoe can't wait for schools to reopen, um, so she can enrol me in year four and get me out of the house. <laughs> well, I'll be in year one. <laughs> we'll meet up a little lunch. Zoe, I'll be, I'll be your buddy. I'll be your buddy. Oh, it's perfect. I'll be, I'll be your buddy. <laughs> thank you for the last one, man. I really appreciate it. And the series is awesome. Um, mm. Thank you again, Ham. Um,